Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to remove the air bubbles or any air trap inside of your YouTube siphon from your overflow box. All right, I'm going to show you the easiest and fastest way to remove the air bubbles. What you're going to do is you're going to get a YouTube siphon and you're going to drill a hole right on the top. Not too far to the right, not too far to the left, in the middle, or a little bit to the right. You're going to get a drill bit, and you're going to get a little nipple from one of your air pumps. One of your air pumps has nipples, or you can buy the connectors for the air pump. What you're going to do is you're going to drill a hole not bigger than the nipple, but close to it. Make sure you drill the hole nice and slow, easy, not too hard, otherwise you're gonna crack the tube. Once you drill the hole, make sure you wash it out and clean it. Then you're gonna take the nipple, and you're gonna push it down as tight as you can, but not to crack the tube. Once it's nice and tight, and you twist it in there, you're going to get aquarium silicone. The same silicone you use to make the fish tanks. You're going to silicone all the way around it. And you're going to wait 48 hours for it to dry. Once it's dried, you're going to get an air tube. And you're going to put that air tube nice and gently right over the nipple. Once it's nice and tight where you can't push it anymore, then that's where you should leave it at. Don't try to force it. Otherwise, you're gonna loosen the silicone and you're gonna have an air leak. You're gonna put that air tube nice and long and you're gonna use the stem or the uh, this is from a, a silicone tube. You're going to use a silicone tube nozzle as a plug. Or you can use anything. Anything that you can find that you can stick into the air tube and plug it is fine with me. I'm just using the same silicone tube nozzle to plug it. Once everything is nice and dry, you're going to put your overflow tube inside your overflow box and the other end into the fish tank. Make sure there's enough water to fill that tube. Then what you're going to do is you're going to remove the nozzle from the air tube and you're going to suck the air out until you get water. Make sure you don't swallow the water. So when you suck it in, suck the air you're going to feel water get in your mouth and you hold it right here. Then you squeeze it. When you get enough water in your mouth, squeeze it right here. And you're going to take the nozzle and you're going to push it back into the air tube. Once you see that you have no more air in the tube, then you're okay. But if you see still air, then you're going to do it again. You're going to remove this nozzle, whatever you're using to cap it off, squeeze it right here, remove the nozzle, suck the air of the water, and that's going to suck the rest of the air out of the tube. Then you're going to squeeze it. Don't let, don't release it, otherwise you're going to get water coming out, or you're going to get air back into the tube. So make sure you squeeze it real tight, put the nozzle back in tight, and you're going to check your overflow box tube and make sure there's no air. And you, right now I got one, two, three with air in it. So it's time for me to remove one of the nozzle, suck out the air in the water, and everything should be fine. All right, so I hope you enjoyed it. Any questions, leave a comment. Okay, thank you. Bye.